So hey, um, how are you today? Uh, I'm good, thank you. Um, yeah, I'm pretending that you're actually talking back to me and I'm talking to you and it's quite funny in a way in my head. Well, um, I was told to watch a movie. Uh, it's being released soon. I don't know. I, I, I guess it's some low budget film or something. I, no, they, I never heard of it. Some guy rooms it. Oh yeah, you gotta watch this. Gave me a uh, screener copy. He's like, dude, you gotta watch this. I'm like, why? It's coming out soon, right? And he's like, no, dude, dude, you gotta watch it. I'm like, oh, okay. I think it's called Sucker Punch? I don't know. All I know is I'm gonna go watch it and uh, I'll be back in, I think he said two hours? I don't know. It's all about chicks and swords and bad guys. But that sounds like every movie I've ever seen, so we'll be back. Oh, one minute. Alright, so Sucker Punch. There's this girl in it. She's a blonde. She looks like she's, you know, way too young for anyone's standards. What's that? She's supposed to be 23? Okay, never mind. So this is hot random blonde chick who she her mother died I think and it was because of her evil stepfather but they never actually say that and it's all music and slow-mo and yes that means it's a Zack Snyder film so I pretty much explained the entire movie slow-mo so he she randomly is like oh I don't like you. I found a gun because you're going to try hurting my sister. And you're thinking, well, why is he doing this? Well, it's because the will, the, all the money went to the daughters, not him. So he killed the wife, you're thinking. So he'd get the money, but there's no money for him. And you, you're just like, oh, this is going to get good. And then the, the girl's like, Oh no, he's gonna hurt the sister and they're playing Sweet Dream Me. Really bad cover, I must say, of a song. So the girl is like, I have to save my sister! Rawr. Which, one thing, I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm not sure if I was totally drunk watching this, but they cut out a scene from the theater copy. I could be wrong. But there's a scene when she climbs out of her window and like climbs the pole and she's having trouble climbing the pole and then she gets down and then out and then like gets, well we'll talk about it in a second. That whole pole scene, from my knowledge, was not on my DVD copy I watched. I could be wrong, but I'm never wrong. So she goes and gets a gun and she's, you're just thinking, yes. Yes, 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 shoot the motherfucker. And you're like, okay, so where's this getting at, right? So she gets a gun and she's holding it to him. And pretend, pretend camera guy, yes, you, Steve, is the guy I'm going to be killing. This is the distance. I'm going to shoot now how she shot. The bullet somehow ricochets off a light bulb. Yes, ricochets off a light bulb and hits her sister, killing her. How long are we in this film? They just told me five minutes. Great film so far. So from there, they take her to an insane asylum where the two evil grandfather and the new evil asylum boss has decided to 
give her an illegal lobotomy. <laughs> Make it so she's a zombie, kind of, sort of. And you're thinking, well, you know, have the blonde chick make it so she doesn't have any of actions that, you know, she can stop me by doing anything. I like where this is going. So basically, they're booing money. They're booing money because the guy's name is Blue, Blue, Boo. It changes every time. It's like, hey, Boo, hey, Blue. Like, I wasn't sure, but whatever. So they do a bit of a money exchange. And he's like, okay, we're going to get her lobotomized in five days. So she has five days to escape. She's like, okay, this is getting interesting now. Crazy, all these crazy hot bitches running around in a crazy mental place and lobotomies. So you're like, okay, oh my god, she's randomly now getting the lobotomy. They just randomly, five days? Pfft, by the way, we're not going to talk about that. And it's like, okay, so she's randomly, you're thinking the lobotomy. It's like, oh, we're gonna. All right, now, don't move a bit. And then one millisecond before it's going to happen, you're like, go, 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 go. Randomly, it's doing a play, and you're like, huh, what's going on here? And it's actually strippers, or dancers, doing a play that's supposed to be hot, but it's fucked up. And the, the girl you just met, beginning who killed her sister, is now, instead of going into a psycho mental place, she's going into a strip club. Why? I don't know. And then from there, the movie is her trying to escape the strip club in those five days before she has to dance for the evil man. What the fuck happened to the movie? And then from there, she, I guess, does a little dance, which is basically this. You ready? How arousing was that? And then she goes into another world, which now she's fighting samurai monsters with Gatling guns, and she's fighting them with a sword and guns. What movie are we watching again? Like, honestly, it goes from Psycho Mental Patient to Horror Club to random CG monsters. You know what we're watching right now? I'm watching a Zack Snyder version of the movie Inception. That's what I'm watching right now. And I'm scared. Really scared. So the rest of the movie is her getting, we need a knife, a lighter, the map. Which, the map is probably in Dora's backpack, if they just checked. And, they need that one special thing that's unknown. And the entire movie is randomly going, okay, let's steal it. Oh, but before we steal it, do your dance. And now into dreamscape world. And then she's like, oh, okay, let's... Random schoolgirl uniform, yay, and then fighting monsters, and then she kills a dragon, which in reality is getting the lighter. Which in reality, reality, was a malt of cocktail. And they do that scene about five, six times. Yeah. That's your movie. This is where it spoils the movie for you. Some people call those spoilers. But when I hear of a spoiler, I think of a car tire thing. Because I like cars. I'm a muscle car man myself. That is a lie. So basically, it gets to the point of the scene where they're doing a robot thing. And they're trying to get the knife. But the dancing stops. Unexpectedly. For no reason. And then evil bad guy stabs the one girl named Rocket and then oh no oh no they're trying to get away from here everyone finally figures it out now and then the guy's like hmm well 
Blondie, which is played by Vanessa Hudgens, is like, I'm sorry, I told him everything! And he's like, well, to the Asian chick, don't care for her name really, goes, well, I heard you were helping, guess what? Bang! And you're like, oh shit, that's fucked up. And he's like, well, and we also don't like snitches. Bang! And then shoots fucking the other girl. So, out of the five characters, we have now two left. One is the sister of Rocket, and one is the stupid baby doll girl bitch who looks like she's 13, but in reality is 23. And the re end of the movie, you know what they do? They finally escape. They pull everything off, because they have everything, right? So it's like, why not? Who cares? Other people died. We'll get out. We'll get out. So they're running, and they're right about to leave. And she's like, wait, I found out what that last thing was. Other girl's like, what was it? Me? You know what she does? She's killed three people, injured two others. You know what she does? She just stands there and looks at the people and they go, hey, what are you doing outside? So the other girl can run away. Fuck you, Zack Snyder. Fuck you.